welcome to another video. I noticed we have a fair few new subscribers. So my name is Emily and my daughter is Rosie and we created this channel to share our homeschooling ideas and our journey into our plant-based diet, which um vegan diet as well. And I've recently discovered a way to make a birthday cake um without having to use uh, butter and milk and all that eggs and stuff. So I'm going to share that recipe with you in today's video. Um, I have just come back off of a weekend at my parents, it's the first time in four years that I've had longer than like four hours to myself, it was really nice to just be me and have some peace from the whole screaming mummy 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 stuff, um, I, I do, I love my daughter to pieces, she is my entire world, but it was very nice to get a break from the routine mundane and everything, um, yeah, um, I got to lie in a little bit, so this morning I'm like, I didn't get up before now, I'm tired. Uh, but yeah, it was really nice to spend some time with my parents, and um, yeah, we hope you find our channel useful. I am a um, qualified school teacher, secondary music, so um, I know the education system, and I have supplied in primary schools before, so... I'm not pretending that I know everything in these videos, but I am quietly confident that I can get my daughter at least through primary school. So if you would like some ideas and um, yeah, if you just want to come along with us, we also share our plant based journey, though. So there are some recipes in here. So for now, I shall get into the video and uh, I hope you try it out. Excuse the noise, I'm in the middle of making Rosie's birthday cake. Daddy's just taken off to nursery. I've got a wash on and I suddenly realised I can actually show you how I make this cake. So um, I thought I could make this into a video. I am going on a mumcation on Friday after Rosie's birthday. So I won't be posting at the end of this week. So I will post this one on Monday. Um, and then we'll get back into our shelf work and uh, school ideas. Although we'll probably have that week off and I might just do a day in the life because... Um, <coughs> we were meant to have August off we haven't really had it off so um yeah I'll turn you around I've already done the mixing but um yeah <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like and take you into the rest of it for now but it'll be a shorter video not having to wait for me to do all the bits and bobs so I'll turn you around so in this bowl and again I'm a very slapdash baker cooker um there's no exact kind of ingredients here I have one large very ripe avocado which I mixed with my mixing thing with I don't even know what it was. Um, it was one, two, three, four, five, five of the little lines underneath. So where the five pounds is, I went five little lines over for the sugar, and I went eight little lines over. So that ounces. So six ounces. One, two, three, four, five ounces of sugar. If that's what it is, and eight ounces of flour. I did. Um, but I did all the wet stuff first. So I made two. First thing I did was I made two um, flaxseed eggs, linseed eggs. So that's two tablespoons of linseeds to six teaspoons of water because they need to set for a bit to make the the, the egg. Then I made um, I blended the avocado with the sugar. I'll put all the measurements below when I've worked it out. Um, then I added the egg in. And then I ran out of flour, so this one's, I don't know if this one's going to work out as well, but normally I add out 8 ounces of flour, but I ran out of wholemeal flour, plain flour, so I added chickpea flour as well. So, um, yeah, I'll let you know how this goes, but the icing will be the piece de la resistance anyway. Rosie will like anything with icing, she'll be gutted she missed licking the beaters. Um, so I've, I've mixed all the wet, then all the dry together, and that's what I've got so far. Now, do not throw out your skins of your avocados because they make excellent greasing. I've, I've greased my cake pans with it. So don't throw them out until you've greased everything. And now I'm going to fill these up and put them in the oven at 180 for rub of degree C for roughly 20 minutes. And then I'm going to check on it. And then if it needs longer, so I'll let you know when I check on it if it needed any longer. So here are my two pans. Ready to go in the oven. The oven is preheated to 180 and I put some chocolate chips through it just to surprise Rosie. Whether they melt or not I do not know. But it's going to go in and I'll come back and show you in 20 minutes what this is going to look like and then when I've iced it I'll show you the end result. So that took 20 minutes and they're nice and springy and 
The knife's coming out clean. I forgot to mention I did put baking powder and bicarbonate of soda in, but I said before I'll put the recipe down below. And then how I'm going to make my icing, once these are fully cooled, I'll let them cool in the tins, then I'll pull them out, let them cool all the way through, is um, I will... Um, sometimes I use melted vegan pastry crust, but I'm probably going to use sunflower spread with icing sugar just because it's already soft and I can't be bothered with the melting process and once it's all sugared up it all tastes the same anyway and that's the part Rosie loves the best so I'll just give that some butter icing um the reason I'm making another one is because this is the one my brother made for her birthday party um that is meant to be Shakespeare and he was sitting up with a book Rosie's eaten his legs but there's not enough left here, really. Me and Mark will probably end up, and Rosie will probably end up having a slice tonight for her after nursery snack, and it'll all be gone. So um, she needs a full cake tomorrow. There's just a lot of cake eating going on this week. She has also also learned that party food doesn't make her feel too good, and she can't poop. So um, <laughs> just said to her. We eat growing food so that we can poop and we can grow. We eat party food every now and then. So she's I think she gets it because she's not enjoying how she's feeling at the moment with some of the um, foods and sweets she's been allowed to have because it's her birthday week. And she's just she's actually asking for apples and bananas and she's actually not want an apple. I want somebody to help me poop. So uh yeah. We're doing something right to the fact that she's stealing apples and oranges from us at the moment and yeah. <laughs> so I shall show you this when it's all cooled down and I've iced it. So it'll probably be much later in the day and I'll post this next Monday so you have a video to watch. Um, I don't know how this one's going to taste because of the... Ch I don't know if I should have used brown rice flour instead of chickpea flour. But normally if you just use plain wholemeal flour, it normally tastes really nice. This is, just tastes like caramel. So yes, I shall show you when it's completely finished. I totally forgot to film the end of the cake, um, so this is what's left of it. It was obviously a whole circle. Um, the icing, I just used sunflower spread and then lots of icing sugar to make it like a buttercream icing and then hundreds and thousands and I added a little bit of red to make it pink. For rose bear, I put it in the middle and on the top. Um, but I have totally forgot when it was first made and then I had a little break at my parents' house this weekend and this is what's left when I've come back. So I'm sure me, Mark and Rosie will finish this off. Um, hope you try it out. It tastes really nice. Um, it still tastes fine with the chickpea flour, actually. So if you don't have enough of uh, one sort of flour. Uh, Babby, don't break that, please. That, it's coconut oil, Babby Bear. Oh, coconut oil. So, yeah, I am back from my vacation. I now have my shadow because she doesn't trust that I'm not going to disappear again. No, nope, she's taking me quite literally. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, hope you try out the recipe. Uh, comment below if you do and if you like it. Um, for now, it is Tatar for me and Tatar for Rosie Bear.